Hola, this is Sharon, and I'm ready for, I think it's part four. So for a recap, we have the front page, which I still haven't decorated yet. The paper's so gorgeous, there's not much I'll do. Then this is the back of that page. And we have a pocket here with a tag. She can either do journaling or put pictures on there. And we have space here. That's the first. Then I worked on this page. And let me fix this light to bright. Okay. I put this little sticker I had. And it says, I've arrived. And then this is from the Graphic 45 as well as this. And this was the booklet I was working on and made a mess. <laughs> so what I've done, I decided to put the little tabs. But here's the front. And a picture can go here. Then on this one, remember my friends speak Spanish. So this says, Mi Angelito Precioso, which means my precious angel. And then I've got a little card that comes out here. This looks a little too feminine. I might cover the back of that. I've used an envelope corner. Took a piece of this paper and then put this sticker on the paper so that it opens and it opens wide so if you decorate this it'll still fit. And then a picture can go here. And then I did the little tab. I used my Stampin' Up Punch. And then I used a stamp, so it says it's a boy, I like the paper here. And you see that mark I have, where did I put it now? I have a punch, not a punch, a stamp set. Here it is. I used this stamp on there, and then on the other one that I'll show you, I used this stamp. So it gives your punch a little design. So you can see a little. It's not such a big design, but it gives you a little. So that goes here. And so it just helps to pull it out. And it doesn't show too much. And then we got this one. And then here's the other one. And see how the tab is. She could even do a little journaling if she wanted. And that one goes in there. A little tight fit. So a picture here, picture on that, and then a picture here. And that fits in this envelope pocket right there. And then she has room back here for a picture. So plenty of space for pictures. And then on the back, uh, I love this paper. And it was the only paper I had like that. So she can pick how she wants to put pictures. And I'll give her some extra die cuts that she can put where she wants after. So that's that side. So, so far, two whole, well, what do you say? It's two whole chipboards, but it's four sides. So for today, I have another pocket thing. All I've done is I've put the papers in the cute little cars and trucks and motorcycles. And this one is baby bears with a little scarf, and he's like doing a little somersault. This one, again, it's the only page I have like this. So again, I'll let her decide how she, she might want to put two four by six. She might want to put three, who knows what she wants to do. So I'll give her some extra stuff she can add on after she decides how to put her pictures. On this side, again, my junk mail, recycle, recycle. I've taken one envelope, sealed it, folded it where one side is longer than the next and I can tell you how far apart 
it's like one and a half inches apart and it doesn't have to be that you can put it as far apart as you want and I've put the distress ink all around I've put a very narrow tape here very narrow I guess it's like one eighth of an inch <laughs> And I've just put it on the bottom part here so that when we're finished, we can put something here too. And I believe this was created by Laura Dennison. She made so many different pockets. She had one that was like this, and then you turn it around and there was something else, you know, but this is the simplistic one. So fold it to the two sizes you want. Put the very narrow, first distress it, then put your tape, the narrow one here to have three pockets, and then put your tape on the back, because we're gonna, I want to leave a l edge here because I'm not sure if I want to decorate on the bottom or not yet. My holes are on this side, so it's gonna go on this side. It'll still leave plenty of room for pictures. So the next step is you need to cut your paper. So I cut this paper to fit here. And you don't have to have the paper go all the way down since you're not going to see it anyway. So I just use the rest of this paper that was left over. And I'll be taping that in. And then because, you know, it's covered, I'm just going to put a little piece here and then I got a big piece here to put. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Let's get these on. I've got everything with tape. See I'm so organized today. Woohoo! So let's just hope I get everything on the right way. You prepare. I've been preparing for like an hour and then I'll mess it up in two seconds. You know it's like ah! So you got to take your time. Plan everything out, check and recheck. So like I gotta make sure, okay, is it this way? Yes, because if I do it that way, no. And then I don't wanna stick it on this or this. I want it on this mat because if the tape gets stuck, it comes off easy. And I'm lining it up at the bottom. And there we go. Now I want to put my little truck. This mat is like five years old and it's so stained up, but it still works. Maybe ugly, but it works. And I try to clean it and clean it. I use alcohol, I use cleansers, and I just can't get the stuff off. Now this isn't going to be all the way at the bottom, so I got to stand up for this one. I want it just to have a little bit of an edge. Okay. So see how it's just got a little tiny bit of an edge? Maybe it's either too much light or not enough. Can you tell? And I hope the volume is better. I made sure that it's my camera that's the microphone. So hopefully it sounds better today. Now before you untape this, you still got to put in this one. So I'm going to do this one next. Now some people take a circle punch and make a hole. I'm not going to do that on this one. But that is an option. And then I want my little cars on there. Sorry, out of frame there. I get carried away and I forget about the camera. 
So I hope everybody's had a wonderful, wonderful day. Tomorrow's Wednesday, middle of the week. Yoo-hoo! I am so ready for Friday already. Isn't that terrible? Okay, so I see how I've done that. Now we can untape this. So, we've got a pocket here in the envelope. Then we got a little pocket here and we've got a pocket here. Now you can only put a tag or something in it because it's not very wide and flexible. But it's nice to put for um, little tags and journaling. And put a picture. Okay, so I'm going to say right about there. Isn't that cute? So then still have room here and here. So now we got to make our little tags for this. So let's see. This is about almost four inches. So I'm saying if I do about three and a half, that would fit nice in there. Three and a half. Let's see, and then how long? And if we did up to six for this first one, that won't be bad. So three and a half by six. And then I like to round the corners. Let's see if it works. Yes. And if I decorate the paper, then it's going to be very thick. I want to leave room for... So she can put a picture and do some journaling on this. I'm going to leave it solid. Okay, so the next one, since that was six, let's see, if we did five... No... Well, because it sits higher, I'm going to try five and a half and see what happens. How long is this? This one I messed up on. Does it fit in here? I might use it for this one, but I, where I folded it, I'm going to have to cut. And I'll distress the edges, of course. So see, that one fits nice here. And then that middle one we want. Um, let's see. I need something thick. What do I have? I want more of this. So it was three and a half. Oh, wait, I have more of this. Let me cut this. I'm going to cut this one at five. Let's see what happens. Three and a half. Hopefully it's not too short. 
can always use it as a tag someplace else if it doesn't fit right. Let's put it that way. Gonna need to make that one a little bit narrower because it does have that tape. in there. I have to make it narrower. Experiment time. You just keep trying. You just keep rounding it afterwards. Something's blocking it. What is going on? Let me see. Do I got this one in the right place? Let's take this out and then put this in. What is going on? It doesn't want to go in. Oh, you know what happened is where the edge that I closed, let's hold it down there, what? Well, my brilliant idea is not working. My you know that edge of the, where the lip is this part when I stuck it it's like holding down and blocking it so let me keep trying here just a second hold on yeah we're gonna have to forget about that back when I'm I think what we'd have to do is make a layer that blocks those little edges. Darn. I always make mistakes, eh? You're not going to want to watch my video anymore. This one's so narrow, I wonder if it would go in there. No, because of those darn edges. Okay, well, we learn. Live and learn. I should have folded it. Instead of folding it towards this, it would have been better you fold it this way so that this stuff doesn't get in the way. That's what's messing me up. So if you're gonna make this, fold it with the edge out. Your paper's going to cover it anyway. Okay, lesson learned. So we'll just have two pockets here. Good enough. And I wonder if I want this bigger one. I could put two in the same pocket and still have my three. How about that? <laughs> okay, so I still have three because this pocket opens nice and wide. So got that one, and that narrow one, and this long one here. Okay. I don't know. Looks funny with three. Maybe I'll just have that one. I just cover it up though. Well, it's the same old design anyway, so it doesn't matter. No. So let's do that. Okay. All right. So I got two areas and if she wanted to cover that she could but I think it's too cute to cover she's got all this to put pictures she has behind this to put a big picture and I'll probably do some decoration here and maybe something with a corner let's see 
Where's my little doodads? See, the hole's here, so I can't put it that close. And this doesn't really go with that. I'll have to find something better. I have some little car buttons and train and I have some stamps that go with this set so I think I'll make some stamps that can make a little corner here or it could be up here a little we'll see how I figure it out but I have some stamps that go with this so there we are 20 minutes learn from my mistakes so when you do the envelope put this clear side that doesn't have the flap inside cover your paper on the part that has the flap okay and then thin tape here so you have another pocket you can even use thin tape on the back and have another pocket there if you wanted all kinds of stuff okay I hope you learned something at least you learned what not to do. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.